How do we simplify this expression? We completely factor the numerator, completely factor the denominator, then look for any common factors. Let's concentrate on the numerator for a moment. There's a common factor in these two terms of 7, and when I factor it out, I have left x minus 3. Now let's completely factor the denominator. In the denominator, these two terms have a common factor of 8, and when I factor that out, I'm left with 3 minus x. Now you may notice that x minus 3 and 3 minus x, they're not the same, but they are opposites of each other. If you'd like, choose one of them. I'll say choose the factor in the denominator, but it makes no difference whatsoever. If I factor a negative 1 from these two terms, watch what happens. I'll have negative 8, and I will have negative 3 plus x, and negative 3 plus x is the same as x minus 3. Now to make sure you can convince yourself of this, negative 1 times x, that is negative x, and negative 1 times negative 3, that is a positive 3. So factoring out a negative 1 does make these two terms now, or these two factors I should say, common factors, and I can divide them out. I'm left with 7 over negative 8, which I can write as negative 7 over 8. Don't forget these are opposites of each other, so if you divide them out, you do have that factor of negative 1. Completely simplified, then I have negative 7 eighths.